Welcome to Grandmommy's house where food is all about love and everybody's welcome. Today we are going to cook a super simple recipe that makes a whole lot. It's called taco soup. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I hadn't heard of it until several years ago. A, a dear friend up in Wayne, Michigan, she's a good church lady, she shared this recipe with me. And at their church, they, the older ladies, cook pots of soup and serve them for dinner on Wednesday evenings so that families don't have to rush home from work, cook dinner, and get back to church. They come to church and dinner is ready for them, which I think is really sweet and very loving. And so this is one of the recipes that she shared with me. Also remember, you can get your recipes over on Instagram after the video is finished. So, to start out the taco soup, you brown up a pound and a half of ground beef. And mine has been browning, and then, uh, of course, after you have browned it well, you'll want to pour off the extra fat or the grease that has accumulated and put the beef back into your pot. Now, once the beef has browned up and you have it in the pot, we're going to start adding all the simple ingredients. You're going to add three cans of chili beans. It's called chili hot beans. And when you're adding all these cans of, of vegetables and things, do not drain anything out. Pour everything, all the juice, and all the liquid. So, first ingredient after your beef is to put in three cans of chili hot beans. And that chili sauce in there is going to give this taco soup some good flavor. Then you're going to add in one can of whole kernel corn, all the juice and everything. See how this ends up making a nice big pot of soup? So you can have this for dinner or serve uh, or put some in some uh, containers and freeze it. So this could actually turn out to be two or three different meals depending on how many people you're feeding. So let me stir up the beans and corn so they can start getting brown and warm. Mix it in with that ground beef. I have my burner on medium, by the way. You notice we cook almost everything on medium. That's just about the perfect temperature, I guess. All right, now we're going to add in one can of diced tomatoes, juice and everything. If you have little ones who don't like seeing tomatoes in their soup, throw it in a blender, puree it up, and then throw it in. That will work. And then one can of tomato sauce. And notice all the cans are the same size. They're about the 15 ounce size cans. Make sure I get all this out. All right. Now, I'm going to stir together all the veggies I just put in with the ground beef, the tomatoes, and the tomato sauce. Now, I'm going to add one cup of water. We seem to be eating lots of taco foods these days, a lot of Mexican foods. We like the guacamole and the salsas, the chips, the chili seasoning. So this goes right along with it. All right, now we're going to add some little extra spices here. I have out my jar of ranch seasoning mix. Now, if you don't buy large quantities, then you just want to buy one packet. How it comes in the small envelope packets in the grocery store, one pack is all you need. Since I use this method, I'm going to put three tablespoons of this ranch seasoning mix in. And then I'm going to add the taco seasoning. This would be uh, one envelope, which would also be about three tablespoons. And I hope I said three tablespoons on the ranch and not teaspoons. It's tablespoons all the way around. But I'm going to add in an extra one. On my recipe, I've written that in. But if you're using the packets of seasoning instead of the large containers, then you just want one envelope of taco seasoning. So one pound of ground beef that's been browned and the fat's been drained off. Three cans of chili beans. One can of whole kernel corn. One can of diced tomatoes. <clears throat> and one can of tomato sauce. And keep all the juice in all your cans. 
Don't pour any of that off. Then add in one cup of water, one packet or three tablespoons of dry ranch mix, and one envelope or three tablespoons of taco seasoning or more if you want it to be a little spicier. If you're feeding kids, maybe not so much. But for adults, adding in the extra spice on the taco side gives it a little extra flavor. So after you've made it once and you've tasted it, you can decide what else you'd like to put in. My son and grandson love hot sauce, so they would probably pour in some Frank's hot sauce uh, to make theirs even a little warmer. <clears throat> so at this point, we just let everything cook and warm up. While we're letting that cook a, just for a minute or two, I hope you all are enjoying some of the summer that we're just starting to get into with the sunshine. and. It seems like our grass is beautiful. If we can get out there and mow it, things are so wet it's hard to do. But my dogwood is blooming and springtime is wonderful because things are coming alive after being dormant for the winter time. And I just love it. And I went out today without a coat on. That's a big deal in Michigan. So I hope that you're enjoying that and thinking of um, some ways that you can cook for your family or serve together. We had a wonderful party here a couple Friday nights ago from my brother-in-law who was moving to Tennessee. We had over 30 people. It was so great. Our oldest person was 85 and our youngest was about a year old and it was really fun. In fact, we might post a couple short snippets from that video just so you can see everybody was all over the house. We had a table for kids and a table for grown-ups and people in the living room and sitting on the stairs and uh, kids running all over. It was fun. And of course, we had lots of good food. That's pretty much what draws people together, is having good food. They'll always come together for that. All right, our soup is ready. One additional, well, two additional things you can add in, depending on what your family likes, is you can chop up a medium onion and brown it with your ground beef before you add all the other vegetables in. And also, uh, you can get a small can of green chilies and throw that in. Sometimes if you're cooking for kids, they don't like those things, and some kids like everything. So you know what your family likes. So those are a couple of optional things you can add. So our soup here is all done. Let me take some up. You can see how it looks. Smells good, all that taco seasoning the chili seasoning, the ranch seasoning. So there is our bowl of soup and I'm gonna serve it with some tortilla chips. Most people like to throw a little cheese in and personally I like adding sour cream. Guacamole on the side would also be delicious. So this is your taco soup. Instead of making tacos with all the different pieces and parts you can put it in your bowl have your taco chips on the side, your cheese and your other ingredients. Makes it simple and easy and you can have some leftovers for the freezer or to take for lunch the next day. I hope you enjoy it. Remember you can get the recipe over on Instagram. And also stay tuned for a little video from our Friday night party and see what goes on at Grandmommy's house when we're celebrating a family member. Take care. See you next time. Mm -hmm.